Outside of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, one of the most important elements for living creatures is nitrogen. So the nitrogen cycle is vital for organisms. It's used and is a key component in amino acids, in nucleic acids, pretty much it's what we need. And that's one of the reasons why in organic fertilizers that uh, farmers put on their fields, ammonia is one of the most common elements in it, which contains that nitrogen. Now, 80% of our atmosphere is nitrogen gas. So you'd think, well, we can just get nitrogen by breathing it in. However, nitrogen gas is useless in most cases. I inhale the nitrogen gas, I exhale the exact same amount of nitrogen gas. Some of it can get into my bloodstream, but not so much. I can't absorb it. It's not in a useful form. That's why we need this process called nitrogen fixation. So most of the nitrogen that's in our ecosystem gets there via these nitrogen fixing bacteria. They convert that atmospheric nitrogen gas into ammonia and into ammonium, the ion. Uh, ammonia winds up volatizing as a gas if they don't use it, and that's why when it hits water, it converts into ammonium. Now, there's a number of other processes involved in the nitrogen cycle. One is called nitrification which is converting the ammonium into nitrites and then ultimately into nitrates, NO3 minus. Denitrification is the reverse of this. Essentially, it's converting that NO3 minus into ultimately ammonia, or sorry, nitrogen gas, which is returned ultimately to the atmosphere. Ammonification takes organic forms of nitrogen, for example, in amino acids or proteins, and it converts that organic nitrogen into ammonium. Now let's take a look at this uh, diagram over here, which shows you the complexity of the nitrogen cycle. So here we see the atmospheric nitrogen. It gets incorporated by nitrogen fixing bacteria, many of whom live in root nodules in a, a symbiotic mutualistic uh, in relationship with plants like legumes, like peanuts. While there's other soil fixing or nitrogen fixing soil bacteria that are producing more of this uh, ammonia and converting through ammonification into NH4. Now, plants can assimilate this ammonium and take it in, and then we can get it from the uh, plants when we eat them. Decomposers can get it from plants when they decompose them. Now, nitrification, however, is the most common way to incorporate uh, nitrogen for the plants. And that's done by, again, various bacteria in the soil that do this process of converting the ammonium into nitrites, which are NO2 minus, and ultimately into NO3 minus. And then through, the, again, the process of assimilation, they're pulled in. Elsewhere in the soil, you could have denitrifying bacteria that return the nitrogen to the atmosphere, completing and restarting the nitrogen cycle.